G'day there everyone, I'm Daniel Anderson here. Welcome to module four of our Microsoft 365 e-signature course. And I reckon this is going to be the best module yet. But first, let's take a, a bit of a recap over the first three modules and see where we are at. Now, the, uh, remembering the idea here is that each module is building on top of each other, but at the same time, uh, they are standalone. So you can extract each module and then incorporate that into uh, any type of e-signature process that you have in your business. Now, part one, the first uh, edition, we looked at how we can automate your entire e-signature process using DocuSign, SharePoint, and Power Automate. We looked at how we can use SharePoint, a SharePoint document library to store our document templates and use that as the basis for sending out those e uh, those documents for, uh, for completion via DocuSign. Now, part two, we took things a little bit of a step further and we saw how and learned how we can grab those complete sign documents from DocuSign and move them back into SharePoint uh, where we can take advantage of the SharePoint document management capabilities. And then it led us into to part three. Now part three, we integrated uh, a number of uh, series of emails. So a welcome email plus in addition, an onboarding email um, that included an approval process. So once um, this, uh, this process was approved and then an email sequence was sent out. Now that leads us to uh, this module, module number four, where we're gonna take a look at Microsoft Syntax's content assembly and how we can utilize that to dynamically generate documents from uh, from a, uh, well, merging content from a Microsoft list into a document um, similar to a modern mail merge and then use that as a basis and as a trigger to send out that document for e-signature. So we're gonna step through and build that flow out uh, from scratch. But first, let's take a look at the end result and the end flow that we are going to build. So we can see here, this is the entire process. When an item's created in a specific list, we're going to generate a document dynamically using Microsoft Syntax. We're going to update the file properties because we're using a content type with additional metadata. We want to use that and add and dynamically update that those properties. We're going to create an envelope inside of DocuSign. We're going to get the file uh, content from this template that we've dynamically generated. Then we're going to add that document to an envelope. We'll add the recipients. We'll then add tabs. So we'll insert the signature panel into that document for, uh, for the recipient to then sign, and then we'll send that envelope off, okay? So that's what we're going to build. Let's get cracking into module four. So the trigger we want here is when an item is created. So we're gonna use that recruitment tracker list. So let's pass in the site address here. Uh, which is in the operation site. We'll choose the list name of recruitment tracker like that. And then the next action we wanna use is the generate document. So let's go uh, generate document. Um, it's a preview action here using Microsoft Syntax and we need to fill out uh, these properties. So site address, same thing. Operation site, document library name uh, is contracts and we've got a document template that we've already added to this library called sales invoice template. Now the folder path, we must start with an existing library. Okay, so the folder path here, uh, let's choose, we we'll use this folder icon and we'll choose the uh, contracts document library, which is this one here. And the file name, we are going to use the title uh, from the list item. So we're gonna pass in the title of the list item uh, and then the name. So in the template, in this modern template, we've got a, a placeholder for the name. So again, I'm gonna reuse the title option here and that's gonna insert that name dynamically into that document template. All right, now the next thing we need to do, because we do have um, uh, some metadata on this library as well, uh, attached to the invoice, uh, to this particular content type, which is a sales invoice, we're gonna update the file properties. So let's jump into SharePoint, the SharePoint connector again, um, and we'll go uh, update file properties. So let's just go here, update file properties. And again, we need to pass in the site, the library and the ID. So operations, we want the library name, which was contracts. 
and then we want the ID and we're gonna use the item ID, all right, from the newly generated uh, document there. So item ID. Uh, now, we need to add a couple, of, a couple of new things. So applicant name and app applicant email. So they're two site columns uh, that I've added to that document library. So what we're gonna do here, uh, is we will use and we'll scroll down to the item section here and we want to add in the applicant uh, actually we'll use the title all right so the title has the applicant's name okay and then the email we've got uh, a column on that list here called candidate email. So they're the two uh, values we're gonna pass into that one. Now the next step, we're gonna uh, create an envelope. So let's jump into DocuSign um, and we will choose the create envelope option, action, uh, which is this one here. Again, we need to select our account. Now I'm just gonna need to flick over to the right account here. Um, which will give me dynamically the account ID. So we'll click in here, Megan. Uh, and what we'll do here is we'll just add a subject, um, a new contract for signing. And then we can have, um, let's put some dynamic content in. So what we're gonna do is let's grab the title of the item. So let's just scroll up here. Um, here is your contract and we've now created that envelope. Now what we need to do is get the file properties. So get the, sorry, the file content of that newly created file. All right, so let's select get file uh, properties, uh, content, sorry. So get file content and it will be under the SharePoint um, connector. There it is there, get file content. Again, let's pass through the site which is operations and the file identifier here, we need to pass in um, a, the identifier so we can locate that file. So let's just do a search here because we're, our properties are starting to get um, um, a bit long. So update file properties, and we're gonna pass in the identifier here, okay? So that's the identifier we're gonna pass in. Now we need to add that document the contents of that document, we're gonna to need to add that document now to the envelope. So again, we're going to search for DocuSign, the DocuSign connector, add documents to an envelope this time, and this is where we need to convert to Base64 and that type of thing. So account, again, let's just flick over to the right connector or the right connection here. We'll choose the account ID, and then we'll choose the envelope, and we're gonna pass the ID of the envelope that we've created above, so we'll pass in that. Now here is where we need to do a little bit of um, uh, setup here. So we need to jump into the expression and add some dynamic content here. So we're gonna choose, and we're gonna use the base64 uh, function, and we're gonna open and close the brackets, we're gonna pop back the cursor inside these brackets, flick back over to dynamic content and insert file content from the get file content action above, okay? So we'll jump back here. Uh, actually, that didn't work. So what we're gonna do is, let's do that again. So we want base64, we want open and closed, we want back, then we want dynamic content and we want, um, what's happening here? We're not working. Let's go base64. We'll go open and closed. We'll jump back into here. We'll go dynamic content. And while we want the file content, which isn't working. So let me just try this a different way. So let's go base 64. Base 64, open. And we'll go okay. But then what we'll do, we'll jump back, uh, we'll jump back in here. Let's edit this. Let's edit this, we'll go dynamic content, we'll go insert, and we want file content there, we'll go update, and there we are good to go. Document is DOCX, and the document name, let's add uh, the title again, not from the file, but from the item that was created, because that's got our uh, applicant's name. So let's, Let's just go title, we'll search for that. Item is created, that's the value that we want there. Okay, so now we've added, we're adding our documents to 
um, our envelope like so. And then next thing, we need to add our uh, recipient to the envelope. So again, DocuSign and choose DocuSign. We wanna add recipients to an envelope. Okay, and then we need to pass in again the account, the envelope, and the type. So we'll change over to the right account. We'll go to the account, we'll go to the envelope, and we're just gonna pass in the envelope ID from the create envelope action. Now the recipient type we're gonna use is needs to sign, and we're good to go with that. Now, oh, the sign, actually there's two more. So sign a name, we're going to choose now we're going to add, uh, let's go applicant name. That's from the document library this time. And then the applicant email. Applicant email. And then we've got these two options. Now, if we show advanced options, there are a few more different uh, options that we could. They're not mandatory. Like for example, signing on it, we could just put the number one in there. This is the first signer. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to insert our signature tab. So for that, uh, we need to, again, go to DocuSign. We then need to add tabs for a recipient. Okay, so DocuSign will choose the add tabs for recipient action, which is this one here, and we need to use the signer tab, okay, or the signature tab. So again, we'll just change back over to the right account. We'll choose the account, the envelope, and the recipient. So we'll go envelope ID, Again, we'll pass in the envelope ID uh, from the create envelope. The recipient here, we need to pass in the recipient ID. So we'll click inside the recipient ID and this is, we're gonna pass in the from, from the add recipient to envelope. We'll pass in the recipient ID. Now the tab type needs to be a uh, signature. And then we need to pass in the, the string that we're looking for inside or the anchor string that we're looking for. So inside the template, we've got a string called backslash S1 backslash, and that's inserted into the document where we want this panel to be to replace, okay? So we've got that in there. And the last step that we need to do, almost there, we need to send the envelope, all right? So a new action, last step in the process, uh, let's go DocuSign and we'll choose the send envelope action and we will send the envelope, uh, let's just again, last time, flick over the account uh, to select the account ID and we'll pass in the envelope ID for the last time. So we'll just jump in here and we will pass in, if we jump down to create envelope, envelope ID and we are done. So let's save this off. All right, so we'll save that, we'll wait for that to save, um, and then we will give this a test. All righty, we're good to go, and uh, let's test, we'll manually test this, save and test. Uh, so we'll wait for that to get into action, and then we'll jump back over to the recruitment tracker list, and we will add in, um, our information okay so we're going to use alex again all right so let me just open up um alex's email so here he is here let's just drag him across this way for a sec we'll grab alex's email and we will add him as a as a new entry into this list so we'll go alex wilbur we'll Scroll right down here to the candidate email on Microsoft.com. We'll save this off. So that's now added um, this. Now, what's going to happen now is our flow is going to run. It's going to dynamically generate a document uh, inside that contracts library uh, and insert um, that name into the placeholder that we've set in the template. And then it's going to send off the, um, the envelope. So that is just about done and that is now done so i'll bring this across now this is alex and let's open up alex's email here and you can see here that he's just received the new contract for signing all right so let's go ahead and review this document again all automated so all we've done is added an item to a list 
it's triggered the template, it's inserted his name into the template, and it's now sent an envelope out for digital signature and dynamically inserted that signature panel. So we'll click yes, we'll continue, and I'll show you here, see how it's got Alex Wilbur here. So that's that template from the content assembly template that we've generated and we've created. And you can see down here that we've got the signature panel that is now ready to adopt and sign, and that whole process has now been automated, right? All from a simple addition uh, of an item to a list, we have now triggered uh, the creation of a contract, from a template, merged in some information from a Microsoft list, and then created an envelope, uh, dynamically inserted a signature tab, and sent that envelope out for electronic signature. So I hope that brings you some value today. That was part four uh, of the e-signature series. Um, so I hope that series brought you some value as well. We've covered a lot of content, um, but as I said, the uh, each session built on top of the, the previous one, but in addition, each one of those sessions is really a standalone and you could uh, grab that content and then apply that to any other scenario in your organization that you are trying to automate. So I hope that brings you, again, I hope that brings you some value and I will see you uh, in the next session.